Hello and welcome back to Fuse Entertainment. This time for my review of the Blu-ray in the new Friday the 13th Deluxe Edition box set of Freddy vs. Jason. Now this is where it starts getting ranty. This is where I start picking on this box set. Nothing's ever perfect, I know. Nothing ever is. But I will definitely say that this Blu-ray is disappointing. Now, why is the Blu-ray disappointing? Because if you were to buy Freddy vs. Jason by itself in his own individual release Blu-ray, you would be getting this. So the only difference there is is the artwork. That's it. The artwork. And the artwork is cool, don't get me wrong. But all that is new on the Freddy vs. Jason case within the box set is the freaking artwork. That's it. And this is the original Blu-ray release, which means it does not have DTS HDMA like it did in the um, the old Friday the 13th box set, which is this box set, the one I had before, the one I reviewed in 2018. Has a better sound presentation for Freddy vs. Jason. In this box set, then in the limited edition deluxe box set, which I have recently gotten, which is superior in almost every way, except for with this movie in the Friday 13th remake, which is also the original standalone Blu ray release as well. So, this is probably going to be one of the quickest reviews. But I'm going to try and make it stretch out a little bit by talking about what Scream Factory could have done if New Line Cinema wasn't so greedy and decided that they did not want to give Scream Factory the opportunity to do what should have been done with this movie from them. So, let's talk about that. I'll tell you what they should have done. It should have given this movie back is 2.35.1 widescreen format instead of having it in a 2.40.1 widescreen format. Now why is that a big deal to me? That's a big deal to me because 2.40.1 widescreen is a Blu-ray high definition modification to the original film. The film was not shot and 1.40.1. We didn't start shooting movies in 1.40.1 or 1. Dot, sorry, sorry. Um, 2.40.1 or 2.39.1. And usually it's 2.39.1. We didn't start doing that until like 2007. This film came out in 2003, which means that the original widescreen format ratio of this movie is 2.35.1. And we'll never get that. You will never ever get that because all every DVD release of the movie has been in 2.40.1. Every Blu-ray release of the movie, 2.40.1, including this, which was a missed opportunity. Um, having DTS HDMA on this movie is a hell of a lot better because the superior sound technology of the film during this theatrical release in 2003 was not the Dolby Laboratories um, sound presentation, but the digital theater sound presentation, the DTS sound presentation, was the superior sound presentation for this movie back in 2003. So they could, they should, we should have just kept that, you know, put that on this. It would have been nice to see this movie gone back to its original, um, its original negative elements and film elements and be upped to a 2K scan by Screen Factory, because I think it would have made the movie look more authentic to its original release. This still has a very much a very big digital look to it, because it's because this was modified for home entertainment. So it's not as true to this original theatrical release as people might think. So it is a big letdown, this Blu-ray to me. They could have gotten like maybe some new interviews with Robert England. Robert England doesn't want to play Freddy Krueger anymore in movies. But he has no problem talking about the movies on camera. Matter of fact, he's all for it. He loves doing it. He does it all the time. It would have been nice. It would have been nice to maybe 
see an inter a, um, interview with Ronnie Yo, so he can give us an explanation as to why he he fucked both the Fr Freddy Krueger franchise and Jason Voorhees franchise up his ass by ignoring every single continuity point that there has been in every fucking movie all the way back to 1980. It would have been nice to see his explanation for that. They could have got uh, talk about it at the movie and figure out why he ignored this, why he ignored that, why he all of a sudden did this, why he all of a sudden did that, when we all know as fanboys that is not true. Which brings me to... I'm not going to review this movie, because I reviewed this movie back in 2018. And I reviewed it so in-depthly, because I get so tired of telling people, you know, people didn't know why I do, they're all like, what do you think of favorite is Jason? And I was like, well, I like the uh, Freddy versus Jason aspects of the movie, but as for everything else, it's the biggest insult to both the characters of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. And I, they, they never did quite understood what I, what, what I meant by that. So when I reviewed this movie, the film, in 2018, I um, sat down in front of this camera for almost 40 minutes doing a point-by-point -point bulletin about why this film disrespects the fucking shit out of Freddy Krueger and Jason Voorhees. So if you guys want to know about all that, watch my original review on the movie that I did back in 2018. And you'll know why. So yeah, very big missed opportunity for the Blu-ray release of this movie in the Scream Factory box set. They really could have made their own Blu-ray. Instead of just having what we already had being, you know, just put into the box set. <laughs> Which really is pretty fucking sad that that's what they did. But that's what they did. Um, now, when this for Friday the 13th reboot uh, from 2009, I actually have not watched it yet. I'll be watching that shortly. And it's still pretty early to die night. And because it's, it's not even 10 yet. So we got plenty of time. I just wanted to get this started. I will be finishing and wrapping up this box set tonight, and no, I will not be doing a rankings video unless we were told I probably will be. Well, I will be doing a ranking of these films. Um, we not a whole ranking of them. I'll just rank the top like three favorite ones or something. But I'll do something. Uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.